And I'm going to give you a quick history of my background that led me up to starting the company. I was an undergraduate here at U of M in 1997. And the internet was this brand new shiny thing, and me and some friends wanted to play with it. And so we started this company called Versity.com. And at Versity.com, we had uh, free lecture notes for college kids. That was our goal. Like, it was very simple. We just, we're going to pay college kids to go uh, type up their lecture notes, put it online, and we're going to make it free for college kids. And we ended up raising <coughs> uh, money from venture capitalists. We raised an angel round first. We grew it to seven campuses uh, in the Big Ten. And then we raised money from venture capitalists, and we expanded it to 200 campuses uh, nationwide. We had over 10,000 college students working for us at the height of the service in uh, 99 and 2000. We employed 10,000 college students transcribing their lecture notes. And it wasn't sort of crowdsourced, everybody just go do whatever you want and let the best stuff rise to the top. We actually employed and paid everybody, $500 a semester, roughly. And so we had this quality control problem. We said, how do we know these notes are any good? Like, we don't want college students failing their courses because we didn't have any quality controls built in. And as we kept scaling up the company to 10,000 workers, who, by the way, only worked for us for like four months, for a semester, we said, how are we going to do this? We said, software is the only way we can scale this business. As we went from seven campuses to 50 to 100 to 200, Software is the only way to do it. So we built this, this intranet. We sort of had all these uh, metrics that we collected about every course, right? And you can see, this is actually a screenshot from 1999, so the browser looks really crazy, right? Um, but there's a screenshot. For every uh, note taker uh, in our system, we had all these metrics, like you can see up there. Uh, when did they log in? How many uh, notes have they done? What percent of their notes were submitted on time? Uh, what percent were past due, right? So we had these metrics of what does quality mean? You submitted them on time, within four hours of the end of the lecture. Right? And we had note ratings, like the users could rate the notes and stuff like that. So we said, what is quality? And we said, OK, how are we going to manage these people if they're submitting bad quality stuff? Well, we have a campus manager on every campus. It was usually a grad student who managed 50 note takers on the campus. And we made this robo-manager tool, we called it. So on the right-hand side, you see here, the software took all these metrics and recommended what a grad student should do to manage their 50 employees. And they could manage these 50 employees in about five minutes a day. We completely automated the task of managing these college students. And you could see it, it would uh, tell you whether you should uh, send them an email, it, like auto-selected the radio button. Tell them you should send them the past due uh, email, number one, which was like, hey, your notes are past due, please submit them. Right? Or, you know, and if they had sent number one and they still hadn't done a good job, number two would say, hey, you're still submitting your notes late, please do that. Right? And it would take you through the whole progression of things you could possibly do to manage that student, from yelling at them about missing their notes or past due, to sending them a praise email, to putting them on a phone list of people you had to call because they're in trouble, to uh, firing them was actually the last one on that list. And it automatically recommended the right action for every student in the system. It was pretty cool, right? And so we had this whole system with one click, a manager could manage 50 college students. And the amazing thing is as we scaled from seven uh, note takers all the way up to 10,000 note takers in about 12 months, every time we expanded, the quality as rated by our customers got better and better and better. And this was my first experience. Uh, building software that did anything remotely like this. But it led me to this conclusion that software is how you can scale.